Scotland has become the first country in the world to make female sanitary products free. It means the authorities have a legal duty to ensure items such as tampons and sanitary pads are available without charge to anyone who needs them. Tanya Dindrinos reports. An historic vote, years in the making. The result of the vote on motion 22328 in the name of Monica Lennon is yes 121. There were no votes against, there were no abstentions. The motion is agreed and the Period Products Free Provision Scotland Bill is passed. Monica Lennon seeing out her vision with Scotland becoming the first country in the world to make period products free for anyone who needs them. Menstruation is normal. Free universal access to tampons, pads and reusable options should be normal too. Period dignity for all isn't radical or extreme. It's simply the right thing to do. Period poverty is an issue the world over. Women in both impoverished nations as well as those in developed countries unable to afford suitable sanitary products resorting to toilet paper, socks and even newspaper. It affects self-esteem and even keeps girls from school having a significant impact on their education. I think in admiration of Scotland, um, I think that it shows and will lead the rest of the world into how we look at menstruation, even the conversations around menstruation. I think it's fabulous. Obviously, there is still a lot of stigma attached. Lots of people don't like to talk about it as an issue generally, let alone the fact of period poverty. Period poverty is multi-pronged. So we look at period poverty and while we can give access to sanitary items, we also need to remove the shame and stigma around menstruation. We also need to educate so that our girls and our boys are learning about menstruation in the way that they can hear it take it in and remove the shame and stigma around it. The benchmark now set and ready for the rest of the world to meet. Tanya Dandrinos, BBC News.